quick intro, we booked two weeks at Kuro Kuro Surf Camp. It's located in Lombok, Indonesia, and it was our first time in Lombok. They provided accommodation, transportation to the surf spots, and local surf guides during our stay. They also have surfboards here for us to use, and they prepare breakfast for us every morning. During our stay, there was a mix of beginner to intermediate surfers. I consider myself at the beginning of intermediate, and Jack started during COVID. He's a goofy shortboarder, and I'm a regular longboarder. My goal is to get comfortable cross-stepping, and his goal was to practice his backhand or backside surfing since we always go to left breaks in Hawaii, and Lombok has a lot of right-handers, so he is forced to practice. But yeah, here's our two weeks in Lombok. end of day one of our surf trip my session was okay it's not a great spot for short borders but with that said the instructors were shredding still yeah the instructors have short boards and they're able to shred so so, that's <laughs> so not an excuse so it's not an excuse <laughs> they wait at the lineup and they're like okay come and then they just like basically reserve the way for you sometimes there's like multiple people on the way but it's open on the left i caught so many waves compared to what i would have at a surf sesh back home i think today was kind of like to see where everyone is at and then they decided that they're gonna separate us tomorrow short borders are gonna go to a bigger spot and then long borders are probably gonna go to a pretty chill spot so i'm excited but we're just gonna walk to the city i'm gonna go buy a surf hat because it's freaking hot i haven't been vlogging much because I'm, I'm just like focused on the everything that's going on and there's like other people so I don't want to vlog you know and make people feel uncomfortable so I'll probably just grab some snippets My lips are also sunburnt. We are separated today. Yeah, that's just getting you. <laughs> 
We just got back um, from the longboarding sesh. So we had breakfast around 7, left around 7.30, got there around 8. Yeah, I jumped straight into the water. Clean, right, kind of small but perfect practice for cross-stepping. So I got like one step in, <laughs> but one step at a time. So we just had like a very long session and I think the short borders are having two sessions. So they aren't back yet. I don't know if you can tell how sunburnt my lips are. <gasps> I think even my feet are a little sunburned. But it's not the same as chef's. A chef's one <laughs> that you had earlier. It's day three. Yesterday was a little rough. <laughs> Today we're also separated into two groups. So the long borders are going to a spot that's like an hour away, and you guys are going to the same spot as yesterday. You can do it. Our surf coaches are insane. They do this every day. They're on a short shredding. Board. Two sessions a day. Yeah. On a short board. And paddling, pushing people, yeah. and catching waves. Can't 
take a chance and try once more. Don't let your worries weigh you down, down, down. You can still take flight, although you're earthbound. Bad. It's bad. <laughs> you said you laughed when you said that. That's my lips. Day five, day four for surfing. At least now I know not to get lip injections. We are all gonna go to the same surf spot today. You didn't take your break, yeah? We all took a break here, yeah. And you guys are so far out. We're all just like watching, we're like, where are they? <laughs> Oh, hello there. <laughs> Lips still swollen. We're going back to the same place mm -hmm. we did yesterday because everyone was having fun. Show everyone how tan you got. <laughs> it's like such a clear cut off. I'm gonna go all covered today. We could step every second. <laughs> just do something. Right here, just step. Oh. Yeah. Just gonna try to step today.
That was like three minutes. Maybe like two minutes for me, yeah. You can go up to 10 minutes. outside anymore. Hello, hello. Last year I went to Lux. Good morning in Switzerland. I think short borders are gonna go to a spot that they've been to before and long borders are gonna go to like a new spot. Putting some zinc on. Hopefully I can work on some technique today because yesterday I was just like trying to stay on the wave and trying to catch waves instead of like working too much on technique. I'm like a different shade every day. Day 6 
six, near the end of day six, and today we split up again. We went to like a long boarding spot, super chill. I mean, it was really crowded in the beginning. <laughs> you guys went to a huge spot. <laughs> well, what can I say? I can say that our head surf instructor, Addy, was like, saying that most of the spots here are right. Great opportunity for me to practice my backside. Tomorrow we get a little break, so we booked a massage, a surfer's massage. <laughs> Lip update, sunburnt as fuck. This is my leg. <laughs> That's week one done already. We went by so fast. Yeah. One week would, like, if we had to go home tomorrow, I'd be so sad. It is day two of week two. Yesterday the new group came in, so they kind of split us up between two groups. Um, the beginners went to the reef and then we went to a different beach. And it was a little bit choppy yesterday, but good practice I think for me. I feel like the place yesterday was a little bit more like faster break and I was so used to like the slow breaking waves. So I was struggling a little bit, but caught some waves, which is good. So the short borders um, are gonna go, or they already left, to a different spot. And then we're gonna go a little bit later today. So my goal for today is to try and get to the note. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna have to try and go for it, even if I fall. Like. I can't play it safe, I have to just go for it on each wave as best as I can. The recovery day was great because like my lips are a little bit recovered but after yesterday it's like hurting again. And I am starting to peel like crazy, peeling all over. For the first half of the week, Jack and I were in separate groups and I didn't do too much vlogging this week. Just another fun week of boat rides, surf analysis, over applying zinc, night walks, group dinners, dinner dates, and slow mornings with this cutie. It was starting to hit me that this time isn't going to last forever and we're gonna have to go back home soon. So I decided to bring out my camera and just film the last couple of days just for the memories.
Hoi zie, chilled. Oh, oh, clear now. Fuck. Fuck, yeah? I, would, I feel like it's been months since we've seen that. No? Yeah. Ah. <laughs> picture, picture. Let's make it. Yeah. I'm complicated, sir. Stable as we go, consistent as we grow. I won't slow down. No need to rush. I'll say it in my dreams. Strangers in my sea. I just got a massage. If you ever come here, you should ask them for the special massage guy. I don't know what the fuck he did, but he... That was the most painful massage I've ever had. But you you know it's working something. Like he's just... He aligns all your like flow or something. That was like five minutes ago, so my brain is still kind of scattered. I would just say that... I'm really sad that the two weeks is over and I have to go home. It was amazing. Oh, it's really painful, but I don't know. I feel like because I'm like, oh, it's I know that he knows what he's doing. Yeah. You can power through the pain. Did I ask him? Yeah, go ask no. him. <laughs> he left. Do it now. Oh, you gotta do it now. <laughs> <laughs>
We're checking out today, or like in an hour we check out. Thoughts? Very fun trip, yeah. surf trip. Learned a lot about how to surf. At least for me, I would go to the same spot all the time and kind of do the same things all the time in the water. And I feel like I'm not progressing as a surfer. I'm so scared of failing all the time back home where it's like, oh, I don't want to take a stab. I don't want to waste a wave. Yeah. You know, but here it's like they're very encouraging of you to get better. So I'm like trying to do things and trying to. It feels very inviting. When you're paying for a surf guide, they're here to tell you about the conditions. They estimate the tide and the wind and like give you an idea of things you don't think about. And also, I feel like it's the least you can do. Like, I don't know. Um, what's a good way to support locals here, but I would think that by giving them jobs, it's better, right? To pay, if you're going to take their waves, you should be paying for it, you know? And like by paying the surf guides, at least you're giving back in some way, hopefully. They want you to catch waves, like to a point where all, we're also tired of catching waves. Yeah. You know, like we're catching a lot of waves and they call you in, they call everybody in, reserve a spot for you almost. And like they either push you on a wave or tell you which wave to go on. So it's just like we're here to surf and they're there to give you that chance to surf and practice, you know. Even in like watching the surf coaches just surf, it's like you they just keep trying things and sometimes they make it, sometimes they don't, but they're always trying something and they're trying to like get better too, which is really inspiring to just see like having fun and like trying things and yeah. It makes I feel like I have a little different approach to surfing now. I feel like it was life-changing, mind-altering experience. Yeah, mind-altering for sure. Yeah. Just changing up the habits and changing up how we normally surf. And lifestyle in general too. Meeting other people was very fun. Seeing what type of jobs that people have that allow them to travel like this was very inspiring for me as well. Just, you know, makes us rethink how we want to approach work. Ugh. Such a good trip. My heart is sad. It's just thinking, thinking about leaving. Excited to go back to practice and to work and get our shit together, but still like painful having to leave. I'm like a beaten up surfboard. Yeah. With scratches and dings and bruises everywhere. But 10 out of 10 would recommend. Yeah. 10 out of 10 would recommend. Definitely. If it's one thing about this place, it's also the people too that makes it special. Yeah. People are just nice. Yeah. Yeah. Similar to Aloha Spirit. Back to America. For now. For now. Bubble gum fights on the third floor. Comedy specials at eight. Fish and rod in the quiet. No, no. 
Hello. Hello.